what is going on and welcome back to what shall we do next I'm Mike your host and I hope you guys are having the best day ever before I get started guys if you are new here please subscribe if you haven't already done that we're on the road to 72,000 subscribers and I would love you to join me on this journey so hit subscribe right now and join the fam also guys go follow me on all my social media links are in the description I have Facebook Twitter Instagram and even snapchat so go follow me on all of those and once again I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video and today we are talking about another scary story and this one is also gonna be creepypasta style and this scary story is called the peephole so the story of the peephole is about a young 15 year old girl who is left home alone while her dad goes out on business. So let's jump right over to the story. The Peephole. A 15-year-old girl named Donna lives with her father in a small house in the suburbs. Ever since her mother died, Donna had depended on her father for everything. They had a wonderful relationship and loved each other very much. One morning, Donna's father was leaving on a business trip. As they ate breakfast together, he told her that he would be home very late that night. With that, he kissed her on the forehead, grabbed his briefcase, and walked out the front door. Later that day, when Donna came home from school, she did some homework and watched some TV. By midnight, her father still had not returned so she decided to go to bed. That night, she had a dream. She found herself standing at the edge of a busy highway. Cars and trucks whizzed by at an alarming rate. She looked across the highway and saw a familiar figure standing on the other side. It was her father. His hands were cupped around his mouth and he seemed to be shouting something to her, but she couldn't make out what he was saying. As the traffic whizzed by, she strained to hear. Her father's eyes were sad. He seemed to be desperately trying to communicate something to her. She could barely make out the words, Don't open door. Suddenly, Donna was awoken from the dream by a strange tapping noise. Then somebody began to ring the doorbell downstairs. She scrambled out of her bed and put on her slippers, then dressed only in her nightgown. She ran downstairs and went to the front door. Looking through the peephole, she saw her father's face outside. He was staring right at her. The doorbell kept ringing insistently. Okay, hold on, I'm coming, she shouted. She pulled back the dead bolt and was about to unlatch the door when she stopped. She looked through the peephole at her father again. Something about his expression didn't look quite right. His eyes were wide open. He looked terrified. She slid the dead bolt back into place. Dad? She yelled through the front door. Did you forget your keys? Dad, answer me. Dad, please, I need you to answer me. Is there someone else out there with you? Why won't you answer me? I'm not opening the door until you say something. The doorbell kept ringing and ringing, but for some reason, her father refused to answer her desperate cries. For the rest of the night, the frightened girl cowered in a corner of the hallway, helplessly listening to the ceaseless ringing of the doorbell. It seemed to go on and on for hours. Eventually, she fell into an uneasy sleep. 
At dawn, she woke up and realized that everything was quiet. She crept over to the door and looked through the peephole again. Her father was still there, staring at her. She cautiously opened the door and was confronted with a sight that filled her with unimaginable horror. Her father's severed head was hanging from a nail above the door. There was a note attached to the doorbell. In crude, scrawled handwriting, it read, Clever girl. Wow, I did not see that coming. Honestly, I thought that the guy was possessed. I that's that was my first initial reaction when I read the story. I was like, this dude is possessed. He's possessed. He's gonna she's gonna open the door, he's gonna kill her, and then he's gonna wake up and not know what happened to his daughter and not have any recollection or whatever, if that's the right word. Um, but then the more I read, I was like, when she said, Is there someone out there with you? I was like, Okay, I'm thinking there's like a gunman or somebody with him and they're like holding the gun to his back saying, get your daughter to open the door. That's what I was kind of thinking. Like, but then I didn't see that coming. I didn't see a severed head hanging in the, the people. Like, that must have been terrifying for the girl. I don't know if this is a true story. Probably not, but let's hope not anyway. I don't want to be on the world with messed up people who would do something like that. But my question to all of you guys for question of the day is who do you think was responsible for doing this to their father? Let me know in the comment section. Do you believe it was a demon? Do you think it was a man? Do you think it was a monster? Let me know what you guys think. That is question of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below and let's see if we can go for 12 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And remember the most important thing of all guys, chase your dreams. I love you all and don't let anybody bring you down.